Diffuse Unpattern Alopecia, or DUPA for short, is a subtype of the more commonly understood condition androgenetic alopecia. Unlike its better known counterparts, which often shows distinct patterns of baldness, DUPA is characterized by a widespread thinning of hair across the scalp without a specific pattern. To fully appreciate the genetic and biochemical relationship between DUPA and conventional androgenetic alopecia, it is essential to dissect the multifaceted components of these conditions. So, this might be a long video, but hopefully uh, you guys can get through it and hopefully I present it well. Well, let's get started. Dupa, as the name suggests, is a form of alopecia where the hair loss is diffused and unpatterned. As Chin H. Ho et al. 2022 state in Androgenetic Alopecia, in the Stats Pearl Prognosis e publication, androgenetic alopecia presents more predictably, with males often experiencing thinning at the vertex and frontotemporal regions, and females showing diffuse hair loss across the crown, with a broader center parting. DUPA is less predictable in its manifestation. There's a useful publication in the Journal of Cutaneous and Aesthetic Surgery written by Myrna Gupta and Venkataram Mysore that talks about the various types of androgenetic alopecia patterns as well as different progression scales. And this paper is titled, quote, Classifications of Pattern Hair Loss, a Review, unquote. Right away, you can see that there are some common realities with these scales, and that is that it typically starts with the front of the hairline, as well as the crown and mid scalps, and these areas progressively expand and get worse over time. But that's just with male pattern baldness for the most part. Female pattern hair loss, if we are going with the Chin H. Ho et al. description, fits well with that sort of diffuse unpatterned alopecia. Now, don't get distracted by the name here. You can be a male and experience what is termed as female pattern hair loss or variants that are similar to it. It's just that this type of diffuse hair loss is more common with women than men. But again, female pattern hair loss is also predictable. So DUPA wouldn't really fit into that sort of terminology. While some balding patterns like the receding hairline or crown thinning, again, are more common, DUPA and even retrograde alopecia, which affects the sides of the scalp, are rarer. And these variations have been attributed to genetic diversity that manifests differently amongst people. Now, this genetic diversity is in reference to the sensitivity of the hair follicles to DHT and how it can vary in different regions of the scalp. So it could be the case that people with diffuse unpatterned alopecia just so happen to have a an overall across the entire scalp genetic sensitivity and it's just being expressed as a diffuse unpatterned pattern if that makes sense and again we can refer to that gupa and mysore publication where we can see all the various scales that have been made over time that show the rates and the kinds of progression of hair loss that people can have at least in reference to androgenetic alopecia. 